Well, hello there, person. Today, I'm going to work on some mouse code and some other miscellaneous bugs. In fact, I have no clue exactly what we're going to be working on. Okay, so today's stream was a quick one. Um, the first thing I did was look at an issue with the mouse on, on Windows. And when I was playing the game with my buddies last week, we uh, took down a whole bunch of notes. And one of them was that the mouse doesn't work on Windows. So I'm playing on the Mac version here and the mouse does work fine. Uh, but on Windows, the issue is that I forgot to hook up the code for, uh, for the mouse support with my, my publisher's awesome Double Eleven engine. So there's an issue there. I just need to basically just hook that mouse code up on Windows. Um, it's working fine on Mac. Just have to do some... Uh, figure out how to tie their engine into my engine. So we'll get to that. Uh, the next thing here is that I made this teleport much bigger. So there was a, um, the issue was that my buddies, when they came up and tried to hit this teleport, it was, it was a way too small of a collision box. So it was like, you had to get incredibly close to the center of it to hit it. And now it's much bigger. So if you get near it, you hit the teleport and it's much easier to use. Okay, here's the bow. And once again, if I, if I left click, um, after the movement, he will shoot the bow, but he's not automatically targeting this hit switch. See, he's automatically targeting these these enemies here. So I'm clicking nowhere near them, but he's automatically using the bow to attack them. But now, if I go here and I hold down the bow button with the keyboard, it automatically locks on. Nice. That's what we wanted to see. So just some. These are just tiny little issues, right? Like these are uh, issues that my my friends noticed when they played this pre-beta version of Wraithbinder. So it's really great to go and take all of their awesome feedback and their comments and incorporate this into Wraithbinder.